weekend for a quick little weekend getaway. So it's the first real weekend that it is cold in Minnesota, so you can see I'm all bundled up, but we are on our way to spend the night at Dylan's cabin, and then tomorrow morning we'll wake up bright and early and head up to the North Shore, north of Duluth, and see where the day takes us. So we just got here to Dylan's cabin. It was a beautiful drive up. The fall colors, as you can see behind me, are like perfectly, I think it's pretty much in peak in Minnesota right now. And the sun was setting and the sky was like a beautiful cotton candy sky. So it was a beautiful, beautiful drive. I got some of it on video, but some of it was just better experienced um, seeing it in person, but we're here and I think we're gonna turn the heat on in the house because it's a little bit crisp outside and then we're gonna make some pizza for dinner. Gourmet meal for the evening. It is insanely peaceful and beautiful out here. Like the colors, wow. Good morning, it is a chilly, chilly morning. It is about 32, 33 degrees Fahrenheit, feels like 28. We woke up, we had a quick little breakfast and we are about to have our coffees in the car and we are headed up north to the Duluth area, I guess north of Duluth along the North Shore. So we're gonna head to Palisade Head first, um, which is near Beaver Bay. So we're gonna go to the northernmost point that we're hoping on hitting, and then we'll start snaking our way back down along the North Shore. But it is a very, very, very chilly one. Cheers. But the colors are beautiful. So we just pulled over quick at the rest area that is right before Duluth. The, I'm reading the sign, Thompson Hill Travel Information Center. So it actually is a really good um, viewpoint to kind of look over the city of Duluth. Um, but I've been here several times. I'll try to get you a little view from the car. It is still <laughs> pretty cold outside, um, but the sun's starting to peek through the cloud. The sun is starting to peek through the clouds. So hopefully it warms up a little bit in the coming hours. Um, and then we're gonna drive straight through Duluth and head up to Palisade Head, which earlier I said is north of Beaver Bay. I think it is exactly in Silver Bay. of plans so we're actually at gooseberry first because we had to pee and the rest area is kind of a little bit of a walk from the parking lot so we might as well just see the falls first and then we'll go to palisade <music>
head was a little bit of a fiasco um, because there was a huge backup and some random dude was trying to um, direct traffic that was not a park ranger and trying to tell people what to do and no one was listening, rightfully so. Um, so if you go at a busy time, I don't have any recommendations. You might have to wait in line for a really long time. So this is the Black Sand Beach. and explored one of the black sand beaches but not the one that I've been in before and Dylan's mad that I'm not taking him to the correct one so now we're gonna drive on over to the other one unless you want to walk quick little walk from the parking lot that we didn't park at because we walked here um, into the real black sand beach because the other one was not sufficient enough <laughs> This is the actual one. We were at that point. Or maybe that one. I don't know. you're going we just pulled up to pallet island which is just two miles from the black sand beach two miles south um and it's kind of like this little cape that's made out of these sharp jagged rocks i'll show you um and you can walk across it to what is called pallet island um but it's quite the extreme walk i attempted it once before and didn't make it because there's these big drop-offs and the rocks are jagged not like a smooth dock and then pellet island is full of a bunch of birds and seagulls but i think the local teams go there to hang out so you can walk this at your own risk i guess over to Split Rock, we stopped at this wayside rest to get this cute view of it. We are now finally getting lunch at 2.30. We just got some Culver's and we're just going to eat it in the car at Two Harbors. So we've actually been to Two Harbors a lot of times, um, so we're not really going to get out and explore the lighthouse area since we've been here, but if you do come to the area, I highly recommend to kind of walk along the pathway up to the lighthouse and take it in. You get some pretty cool views, um, but we just had our Culver's in the car, and now we're going to grab a coffee in Two Harbors on the way out and then head along the scenic route um, highway along the North Shore on back to Duluth. Mm -hmm. 